Hello, how are you today? How are you, my dear brothers and sisters? I pray that uh, all is well with you. And I pray as well that this message that I'm about to share will truly encourage you, will truly lift your spirit up, will truly give you hope and give you wisdom and insights and ideas on how to cope up with such difficult situations that we're facing in. You might be probably um, having some illnesses or having a um, problem with your physical, you know, um, you might be in COVID, even in COVID, that isolating yourself, or maybe you're facing such tremendous trial with regard to your husband. He's probably facing um, life in that situation as well, or maybe he's on the other side, uh, or maybe your son have lost really something that's really valuable to him, or your friend having her husband who is in the hospital, coded breath, who's in the ICU, or your mother or your father or your sister or any member of your family or anybody uh, from, your, from your closest friends or anybody whom you love is suffering or going through such tremendous circumstances in their lives that bothers you or worries you as well. Then I, this message, I would like to tell you that despite of all of this, if we are going to put our trust in the Lord, if we're going to choose to believe in God and have faith in Him instead of worrying, then we will be encouraged. We will be, we will really be restored. We will wake up into our senses that, wait a minute, I am not the one battling for this because the battle belongs to the Lord. But if you are going to tell to yourself that I'm going to bring this to the Lord, I'm going to pass it to Him because I believe in Him, that He is the all-knowing, He is the omnipresent, He is my great healer, He is my great provider, He is my great protector, He is my refuge, He is my redeemer, He is all my all and all. And this problem that I am facing is nothing compared to His power, compared to what He can do. If that's your word, then you truly be a victor above your situation. That no problem, no circumstances, no difficulties, no conflicts will ever put you down if you know who you are, that you are really the son and daughter of the Most High God. And as He is in heaven, so are you. That's always my um, my conversation with myself, that whenever I am in, in trouble or whenever I am being challenged, you know, I am being tested in my faith, then I will say, Lord, you are my comforter, you are my refuge, you are my rock and my firm foundation. I will not be shaken. I will not be able to be defeated because I am with you. You are in me. I am with you. We are doing this together. We are fighting the battle. Oh, I'm fighting the battle of faith. and. Nothing truly will be able to shake me because what matters really is our faith in Him. And these circumstances that we're facing, these tremendous trials that we're facing, is nothing compared to the hope that we have in Him. Nothing compared to that uh, thing that will be revealed to us in the future. And that's life eternal. That's life eternal. If you are worried with so many things that you want, you're craving for something, you wanted to, to have um, so many things that uh, with regard to this world, and then that really bothers you and that pulls you away from the Lord or that pulls you away from serving Him or loving Him or even worshiping Him during your Sabbath day, then that's not really worth it because what really matters truly is our life in the future and, and while we are here on earth of course we needed all those things we needed house we needed um, something uh, you know we needed clothes foods and everything we can't live in this world without money we can't live in this world without sources of income to to finance us to support us in our daily needs but then again he said that if we seek first his kingdom all these things that we're longing for all these things that we are craving for will be added unto us because he's given us the wisdom the knowledge giving us the talents he's giving us the strength giving us our our whole body that will be able to be used in order for us to be supported by our own needs so 
yeah that's what i wanted to tell you brothers that's what i wanted to tell you sister if you probably so super super worried right now that you don't know what to do you've been worrying for so long but it did never change the situation of your problem but if you try looking up to the lord lord you would say i'll pass it i'll pass this to you oh father god and I am truly believing that you will make a way where there seems to be no way. Then I will just um, be at peace, just be relaxed, no longer confusions, no longer stress, no longer be, bother, uh, be bothered with these things on how I can do it. But then I will put onto you and I'm believing that you will give me the wisdom on how to be able to cope up with this. He will guide you. He will tell you exactly what you um, what needs to be done. Uh, if you're going to do your part, yes, you're believing in him. You're passing the problem to him. But when he gives you the wisdom, you're going to use it. You will work and do your part because you collaborate with the Lord. You work and partner with him. So if that's the case, then everything is truly be possible with him nothing truly is impossible because we truly put everything in him and then we'll just be expecting that if we ask we will receive if we will seek we will find and if we knock the door of his heart the door will be open for us and anything that's really bothering us anything that's really um, worrying us a lot will be lifted up from us from our hearts because we know that he is our refuge he is a great he will guide us he will help us and strengthen us and uphold us with his righteous right hand okay so i hope that that gave you an encouragement that even though you are in the deepest part of your grief or maybe in the deepest um uh, you are truly um in, in so worried so much that you really cannot do anything you really um don't know what to do you are confused you are really perplexed to the max then that's the only one thing that you can do that will help you relieve your pain relieve your confusion trust in the lord go near to him draw near to him and he will draw near to you cast all your cares to him because he cares for you he said come all of you who are heavily laden he said that's always my my word that um because in, we are always troubled right but we don't know what to do with our troubles with our problems but he said he's got an invitation to come to him because his yoke is easy and his burden is light he will help us he will uphold us with his righteous right hand. He is truly our refuge. He is our redeemer who has a wonderful plan for our lives and plan to prosper us and not to harm us, plan to give us hope in a future always. So we learn to submit to him. If we are worried about our supplies, our finances, our work, even our spiritual life, then the, situ the, the answer always is come to him always go to him bow to him surrender everything to him submit your life to him and establish a very good relationship with him and you will see what god can do in your life if you start that now start believing start trusting and stop worrying amen god bless you have a lovely day amen